Okay, so welcome to Innocent Charms Chats family's new home. Here's our front door and our new letterbox. And let's go in and have a look. So you come straight into the hallway, which our landlords put lovely new tiles down, so I won't have to rush to get the kids' clothes, shoes off. And here's the first set of stairs, because this is actually a three-story townhouse. So I'm just going to shut... Wait a minute, Addison. Excuse, because I have um, little people with me, so they'll be shouting. I apologise. So, our entrance hall, which is really generous. I have plans... Oh, here comes Sister Ch Innocent Chimes Chats. I have plans for some chairs to go in here so we can get our shoes on easy enough. Um, on this wall we have a big G plan unit that's hopefully going to go to house all the random things like coats and things like that. Let's go through. On the ground floor we have a cupboard. Thank God. We need as much storage as possible. And in here, oh dear. In here at the moment we have two little people having some lunch. And if I step back, so the downstairs is basically one big room. Um, which is a kitchen diner and the class is a snug we are planning to have a sofa down here because obviously our children get up ridiculously early in the morning so let's start down this end though so back door into nice big garden which is on like a slight ground but that's really good because it means Grayson hopefully will be able to walk out to the garden on his own you know what just holding hands and things like that um, whereas our last garden was stepped up by about eight or nine feet constantly. Nice patio area for barbecues in the summer. Downstairs toilet, toilet number one. We have three toilets or three bathrooms in the house. And the landlord's put lovely underground tiles and storage, well done. Another cupboard, the most thinnest, longest cupboard in the world, I think tiny but we had it all but there's a dog in there <laughs> which is always our house okay so then snug area um nice lights as you can see a bit low though so we're gonna have to figure those out covered housing new boiler yippee eating um the curtains have actually all been fitted by the landlord as you can see already so I don't need to put curtains up. They're not always going to be my taste, but we shall work with them. The room is kind of between like a white and a grey, very pale grey. So in the middle is where the dining table will go and another set of low lights, um, which I don't think you can see. They're sort of multicoloured tie-in with blinds. Excuse me for St. Charmer. And kitchen. <gasps> All brand spanking new. And we have uh, oven, which is up high, so no little children can get their fingers in it, which is really handy. Beautiful, smooth sides, uh, perspex backs, so no tiles to keep really grout clean. Those are self-closing cupboards, gorgeous sink, and all the usual appliances. So that's going to be fun because I love having a pretty kitchen. We will then head up to floor one. So up the stairs. It's all got nice new carpet. Might be a bit dark up here because no lights are on. Okay. Upstairs to your right is technically the master bedroom. But this is actually probably going to be Addison and Deacon's bedroom. <coughs> Excuse me. Reason being, um, basically, Grayson's on a ventilator at night, so he needs to be near us at all times, and we're on the top floor, so he shall probably be on the top floor. And then hopefully the younger two can have toys in here, out of the way, and they'll be able to go between the living room, which is next door, and play with toys. Because they're in the master bedroom, it means that they have an ensuite. Um, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, which we will use for the kids' main bathroom. Gorgeous, huge pregnancy bath with shower, which is good because Addie really loves a shower now. 
just a plain white suite, which is nice. Nice big window and eek, look at me, storage, which is always handy. I already have, um, and I know what we'll probably do this bathroom, it'll be bright sort of neon rainbow colours because we've done that for the kids' bathroom for the last couple of years and it really works well for children, I think. But God knows how we're going to squeeze two beds in here and a ton of furniture for them, but thankfully all their clothes will be going upstairs in their brother's room, so it won't be too bad. Right, so hallway again, and door number two on this floor is our new living room, which is really nice and light. So you walk in and you've got a wall of glass, basically, in terms of a big window and um, doors that go out to a Juliet balcony, which is panicking my mum, but the kids won't be able to get there. Um, this room's quite a good size, really. If I go right over to this corner, and then you should be able to see the whole room. So it's got a recessed area, which is ideal over there for a nice corner sofa. So we are cross fingers going to save money for a crossing sofa shortly because I'm a little convinced that the one sofa we do have, the smaller one, will not get up the stairs around the landing. So this living room could be quite empty for a little while. Um, TV will go over there obviously and then on this wall I'm hoping my my favourite G-Plan unit will get up and fit there it looks really tight now um, and then probably Mr Innocent Chalmers desk somewhere so that he can use his computer which is handy okay and then out to the hallway as you can see see what I mean about getting the sofas up eek didn't think that through Store stairs to floor number three. So let's go up there. I'm gonna get very fit living here at least. Okay, the first door you meet is the main bathroom for the house. Um, oh, it's a really good size bathroom because the bathroom we have at the moment is tiny. So it'll be good because we can bath Grayson up here. Um, we're hoping to get some equipment for him in there and it's just there's no cupboard up here because <coughs> the sinks under the window and the landlord felt it came out from the wall too far so there's a mirror and there's a little shelf but there's a nice tiny cap there so we might have to find something there for all my goodies but again a nice big bath for the bathing and i'm hoping the showers are nice and powerful <coughs> The next door is Grayson's room, which is a bit smaller than the one downstairs, so I think we've made the right choice in putting Grayson up here. So, and it means if he's up during the night, I can get to him easy and he won't disturb his brother and sister so much because they'll be down on the whole second floor. Um, we have really nice big built-in wardrobes in here, which are gonna be great for the kids' clothes because they have lots of them. And they're all going to go on this floor. Grayson's bed is being moved on Friday, which is huge. So that will take most of this room on that side. And then this side, he's got a lot of birthday money. So he's getting some new furniture, which will be really nice. The curtains aren't really his. Grayson's bedroom style. So hopefully I can change those. But I love the size of the windows in this house and the fact we're not overlooked at all, as you can see. And there's our garden from above, nice and long, room for the swing set and all such. God, this is turning into a long vlog, I apologise, I talk too much. Okay, and then back out to the hallway, nice big cupboard, which will be needed for storage. And then this is going to be actually in my room, which is top floor, so nice and light, which is really pleases me because I love light. Um, it's a really good size actually for a bedroom, which is good because we've got a super king bed. We've got nice built-in wardrobes, which I don't think will be enough space because Ashley has at least 50 super dry t-shirts on his own. So I don't know what we'll do about that, but we'll figure that out. May have to put a wardrobe here or something. On that wall is going to be my area 
so hopefully um my desk for my computer and my new g plan dressing table will fit i'm hoping they will i think they will um we've got actually they're really pretty gray blinds up here already i don't know if you can see them very well there we go um which i actually really like they're very simple they're good quality because our landlord she loves quality curtains so that's I would have preferred, I thought they were blue, so I'm kind of, I, w I wish they would have been blue because I have a real idea for what I want to do in here, but I don't think that will be a problem. I think it will tie in okay. And there's a huge light fitting up here, which I don't remember at all, but it's not too bad. So, and I just, I love, let me go over here. I love the light of this room and I'm thinking on my one day, hopefully, where I don't have children in the house so much or they're with daddy and I'm up here blogging I think it'll be lovely be nice and cozy and it'll be really bright in the summer and I love sun so that'll make me really happy so that is our new house um and watch this space because I'm going to be doing loads of blog posts about how I'm going to decorate each room well not decorate because we're not touching the walls but Decorate as you do with a rental in terms of accessories and pictures and stuff like that, which I love putting art up on the walls. So, an interiors is something I really, 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 really love. And because the house I've been living in, I have hated. I am so excited. So, watch this space. <laughs>